Hey, I could kill you with a quarter of an amp, and this is E.S. Einsteinium. What is deoxyribonucleic acid? DNA is made up of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus, and is genetic instructions. It is essential for life along with RNA and protein. It's made up of four bases, guanine, adenine, thymine, and cytosine, or G, A, T, and C. It's a double helix with the bases in between two long strands called nucleotides, and these are molecules with backbones of alternating sugars, deoxyribose, and phosphate groups, kind of like phosphorus acid. We have all heard that your DNA can go around the world 42 times, or to the moon, but how much do we actually have? Assuming that your cells are not replicating and dying, there are approximately 10 trillion cells in a single human, and each cell contains 6.5 pictograms of DNA. There is a little more if you're female, and a little less if you're male, and also a little less for your gametes. So if we times 10 trillion by 6.5 pictograms, we get 65 grams. So that is about the weight of 30 in 20p coins. In 2012, Harvard managed to crack DNA storage. By treating DNA like any other storage device, they were able to store 700 terabytes of data. They synthesized strands of DNA which stored 96 bits of data. They converted each base into representing a binary value. T and G were 1, and A and C are 0. The 700 terabytes of data were stored in 1 gram of DNA too. So you can see that human DNA, totaling 65 grams, can hold 45,500 terabytes. That's a lot of storage. But what about your brain? The organ that has dedicated sections to storage, or in other words, your memory. It's hard to put a value on how much data your brain can hold. It doesn't work in the same way as hard drives do. Your brain uses synapses to record events and recall them later. It's complicated and we don't yet completely understand but there is a link in the description to anyone who wants to look into it. If we were to estimate how much data we could hold, there would be many factors, but people have predicted that there's about 2.5 petabytes, or 2,560 terabytes. So that, plus all your DNA storage, gives the human body a total storage capacity of 48,060 terabytes. So what could we store with that? What could we have ourselves hold on to for safekeeping? You could have over 5 million full-length films, or over 12 billion songs, or over 69 billion photographs. So in summary, we are a lot better than the average computer. But for how long? So I'm the eccentric scientist. Leave some feedback on the video. Don't miss the next video by subscribing. Got a question you want answering? Leave it in the comments or on Google+. There's a link in the description. Toodaloo!